Today on Cars Plus, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about this Graham Page Rototiller in our unboxing video. We got this in earlier this week from a farm in Iowa via truck, and we're going to show you the rototiller a bit and what we're going to use the rototiller for, in other words, the purpose of it, because it isn't just going to be a collectible. We're going to use our handy dandy disposable film cutters, what it's called. These things work amazingly good. And we're going to use it to cut off all the shrink wrap the seller put on it nicely for us. Now, what we've been told is this rototiller has not been started in at least 30 years. We're also told that its magneto is actually putting out a spark. Now in this video, we're not going to go to the trouble of actually starting it up, but we're going to do a starting video in the near future. But we want to show you what the rototiller is like right now a little bit and the condition it came in. You can notice, for example, the tires are completely shot. In a moment, we'll show you the new tires we picked up. So we're going to replace the tires and do the wheels right away. The centers of these wheels actually should be dark blue. So the rototiller was what I'd call road grader yellow and had dark blue wheels originally. Over here you can see the actual build plate calling it a rototiller. And you'll notice it actually says, keep my hand out of the light there, it says Graham Page Motors Corporation. That's the same company that built our Spirit of Motion cars that we've got a couple more than a few videos on the channel for. It was quite a unique company. And yes, they built rototillers, and this is an industrial strength rototiller. You look at the general size of this compared to me when I was standing next to it. This is not your small rototiller for your average backyard garden. They were built with the idea that they would be sold to like nurseries and also people who are doing small vegetable farms for like going to a local farmer's market. But they really did think that homeowners would buy these. They thought they were going to sell these things by the thousands. And unfortunately, that didn't prove to be true. But as far as rototiller quality, as I said, to this day, people say this is the best rototiller that's ever been built. So let's continue to get the rest of the stuff off of it and look over it just a little bit. The seller has actually put it on here so it would fit the pallet. And obviously, that means he's sort of disconnected things and made it work out this way for us. It is not, so it's actually a little bigger than it looks like when we get done. There we go, get the main part off. Up here, we're going to uncover the gas tank assembly, which I've got to admit, and we'll show you in a minute, makes me think of something that some of you who have been around a little while certainly at least back in the 1970s, might remember. But let's get all the shrink wrap off of it. I liked what the seller said when he put this much on. He said he didn't want somebody to decide to actually steal this because the piece is very interesting looking. As I said, I'm not unhappy because it's better to have the gas tank not be taken by somebody. There we go. Now we can see what the rest of the rototiller looks like. The gas tank shape, I think in of itself is interesting. To some extent, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a blunt version of a bomb, but what it really reminds me of most is it looks like the head of the alien from the Aliens movies. It just it seems to me like it's like that's the shape of that thing, which makes it very, very unique in and of itself. Also, the seller told us the tank looked good inside, and we probably can't show you that effectively, but it doesn't even look like it's hardly got anything wrong with it internally. 
So that looks really nice. It's obviously well used and old. Up front, we have the pole that you start it with. It's a big one cylinder engine that's in here. If we come around to the opposite side here, this is an original style muffler for this one. It's actually a B16 rototiller, original carburetor. This is your air filter system because you're gonna be working in dust. So they've got a serious air filter on it. Your magneto is actually down on right in here. If, we, if the camera swings around the other side, you can see the magneto again. So we'll show you the magneto point. This is the magneto and your single spark plug. This is a single cylinder, five horsepower engine that it's got. And back under here, it's got all the tines, etc. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get it off the pallet and then we'll and get the wires cut and then we'll show you what the rototiller looks like in general when it's in the proper position. Well, we're wiring up something like this. Almost got it. Looks like we get it out. Got it. Oh, come on. There we go. There. I got rid of that. Well, we're back now. We've gotten rid of the wire, gotten rid of two straps. Now we're going to take the blocking off. This was lifted on here afterwards. So, I'm going to have to get the Sawzall to take it off. Let's get to this. Well, having removed a bunch of screws, I've come to the conclusion he screwed the wood on, then set the rototiller on with something like a forklift. So we're going to get invasive and use a Sawzall and cut the wood up in order to get this rototiller off of the pallet. We don't care about the pallet. Hopefully I can get it off now, having cut up some boards and loosened a lot of screws and gotten rid of a bunch of wires. We'll see. Aha. Some success. One more. Aha! It is free. Here we have things that we've already rounded up for it. We have our Brerdestein, I'm not sure I'm saying that right, tires. Brand new. It had good years on it, but these are exactly the same tire that we need to have to fit. They came off eBay about a hundred bucks, including shipping. So we got those brand new. Over here, we have brand new inner tubes that we got off of Amazon. Those are the correct inner tubes for this pair of tires. About, I think that was about $40. Right there is a can of paint. That's the exact correct blue paint that goes on the wheels. We picked it up off of eBay, but it's actually from a guy who sells the parts for these rototillers. And this is something real interesting. 
every single part can be gotten brand new for them. Now you'd be into it for thousands of dollars if you did that. We picked up the rototiller for $450 plus the shipping which ran us $540 I believe to get a hold of the rototiller. Right here we have an actual shop manual. Same guy that supplied the paint, supplies the parts. Shop manual for all years of the rototiller. So we could do a complete overhaul and restoration on it. So these are the things we've rounded up so we can get it so we could actually drive it around. Right now we have those crummy tires we have to drag it anywhere. But now we're going to show you why we got the rototiller. For 24 years we've lived here and over time we put in concrete, we've added some bricks in this area, but if the camera pans around back to where the rototiller is right now, you can see that on the car trailer we have a load of bricks and we have nothing but a decomposed granite driveway. And in the distance by the rototiller, you can actually see that we've got paving coming in. So the rototiller is for the purpose of doing sections of this dirt, grinding it up, then we can get it out of here, and then we can come in and put our bricks down. Obviously not enough bricks. The reality is, is we got to use the driveway all the time. And when we figured out we were going to constantly have to rent machinery to come in here and do little sections because we can't really shut it down because we've also got tenants on our property. So we're going to do small sections like you see them do a freeway and they keep part of it open. That's what we've got to do. So the purpose of the rototiller for us, besides being a collectible Graham Page item, was actually to be able to redo the driveway so that we get all bricks and we no longer have what we've got, which is this decomposed granite that would get into our house and destroy things. It's just tough and hard on everything. Hopefully you've enjoyed this introduction video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you later with more things on Cars Plus and several more videos with the rototiller, including we're going to try to start it without restoring it and see what it's like on a first start after at least 30 years.